Hi everyone, welcome to your yoga practice. My name is Elise. Thank you for choosing me to be a yoga teacher today. It's a beautiful day out here. I hope it's the same wherever you are. We'll have a hold and flow, flow today. So we'll hold postures for quite some breath. It's gonna burn a little bit, but that's really when you build strength. And then we'll flow, which uh, allows us to build stamina and flexibility. You need a block. Um, if you don't have a block, you know, you can take a book, a dictionary, whatever has that kind of shape and, um, and size. So go get what you need and I'll see you in your mat, on your mat. Okay, so today we will start in an extended child's pose. So bring your big toes to touch, open your knees as wide as the mat, hands forward. You can actually grab your block and you can place it under your forehead if that's more comfortable for you or maybe you don't need it, so you don't need it. Arm extended, long spine. Make yourself comfortable here. And you can start by welcoming your breath. Observe every inhale and every exhale. And just follow the flow of the breath for a few moments here. And you can observe what's going on in the body as you breathe. As you breathe in, you create more space in the upper back. And as you breathe out, maybe you can feel yourself softening. You can also check the quality of your breath. Is it deep or is it shallow? And observe the sounds that it makes. Now maybe you can check in with how your body is feeling today. Are there any areas of tension, discomfort, any pain? And again, with every out breath, try to soften these areas. And then you can check in with your mind. Are there any negative thoughts that you can release? Anything that doesn't serve you? And you can set an intention for your practice today. Whatever it is, it can be that your intention is to be fully present with the breath, with your practice. Or your intention might be to have compassion with yourself. Now walk your hands to the right and the torso to the right. The torso rests on the, on the right thigh and bring your left hand on top of the right. And breathe through that left rib cage. Breathe through the left side. Now walk your hands to the center and then go to the left. Torso on the left thigh, bring your right hand on top of the left. And here feel a nice stretch on the right side, breathing through the right rib cage, the right lung. Observe the sensations. And come back to the center. All right, from here, we'll go to a variation of puppy pose. So pressing on your hands, start to lift your hips and bring the knees above the hips. And now start to walk your hands slightly outward towards the corner of the mat and sink your chest 
on the floor. Again, you can use the block. Your toes stay touching and your body is really above the heels. And you melt the heart forward. It's also called melting heart position. A few deep breaths here. Try to visualize your alignment. A few more breaths here. Now pressing on your hands, come back to a tabletop position. All right, we'll take a few rounds of cat cows here. So open the fingers wide, wrist under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Now on an inhale, drop the belly, arch the back, lift the chest, gentle gaze up or forward. Exhale, round the upper back, squeeze the belly, Knee, tailbone is in and chin is in as well. Again, inhale, arch the back, lift the heart, open the front side of the body, exhale, round. One more time, slowly inhale, arch the back, lift the tailbone, gentle gaze up, exhale, round, press on your hands, send the navel to the spine, and back to a neutral position. All right, good. Now, stay with your feet flat on the floor, press on your hands, don't collapse the hands in the shoulder. You see here, you gently send the upper back towards the ceiling. Pressing on your hands and on the top of the feet, hover the knees from the floor. And we'll stay here for five. Keep squeezing the belly, activating the core. Four. I'm counting in breath. Three. Two. One. And release. Good. Quick child's pose if you want here. Back to a tabletop position and from tabletop downward dog. Tuck all ten toes, hips high, tailbone high. And here you can take your dog for a walk. You know I love this one. Move your knees, lift your heels. You can bend both knees at the same time. And then again the other direction. Find any movements that you like here. Make it your own. Gaze under one up and under the other. Make sure that there is no tension in the neck. All right. Now come to stillness. Let's check your alignment. Feet, hips distance apart. You stretch your legs up so the tailbone is lifted. The hips are lifted. It's upward facing dog. So everything goes up except the heels. The heels go down. <laughs> they want to touch the floor. Sink the hips towards the chest, uh, towards the thigh. Press on your hands. Shoulders away from the ears. Good. Now inhale, right leg high. Bend the knee. The knee wants to go towards the ceiling and the toes wants to reach the floor behind you. Keep pressing on your hands, sinking the chest towards the thigh and gaze under the right arm. I have a strong right glute here, really squeezing it. Now straighten the right leg, square your hips and bring the right foot at the front of the mat between your hands. Good. Drop the left knee on the floor, top of the left foot flat. Bring your hands on top of the right knee and press yourself to a low lunge here. Good. And you see here, you really want to start sinking the hips. Hands to the side. Inhale, lift your arms high. The palms stay facing each other. Your palms don't touch. They're parallel to one another. Now bring your left arm forward, right arm back, and gaze towards your right thumb. Right here. We're twisting here. Now right arm slides down. Inhale all the way up. Hands on the floor. Now straighten the right, the right leg, toes towards the ceiling for half split. So here first we go with a flat back and then we fall over the right leg. Forehead wants to go towards the shin, knee towards the nose. Here if you want you can come and you can sit on the back heel wherever you are 
and wherever you can go. It's exactly where you need to be today. A few more breaths here. Feel a nice stretch in the back of the right leg. Now inhale, come back towards the top of the mat. Tuck the toes of the left foot. Lift the left knee and downward dog. Take a moment here in downward dog to observe how the right side and the left side feel different. And now we do this on the left side. So inhale, left leg high. Bend the knee, open the hip, send the knee towards the ceiling and the toes behind you. Keep pressing on your hands to sink the chest towards the thigh. Engage your core and gaze underneath the left armpit. We're building strength here, holding, holding these poses. Now extend the left leg, square your hips and bring the left foot at the front of the mat between the hands. Set your right knee on the floor. Flatten the top of the right foot. Hands interlace on top of the left knee. Press yourself up here. Good. And now start to sing the hips. Hands alongside the body. Arms up, palm facing each other. Shoulders down, heart is lifted. Now right arm forward, left arm back. Gaze toward your back thumb, keep breathing, now left arm slides down, inhale both arms up, exhale hands on the floor, straighten the left leg, bring the toes towards the ceiling, fold over the left leg and again you can go and sit all the way back if you want or you stay, you stay here trying to close the gap between the thigh and the chest. Breathing deeply, feeling a nice stretch in the back of the left leg. Now, inhale, rise up. Tuck the toes of the right foot, bring the left foot to meet the right foot for downward dog. And breathe. Good. Now inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right foot between the hands at the front of the mat. Find your low lunge here, runner's lunge. Now press on the right foot and bring the left foot right behind the right so your legs are crossing. Good. Now inhale, look halfway up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale, fold. Now press on the feet, inhale, rise up, join the palms together above the head, interlace the fingers and release the index, good, inhale here, on the exhale, hips to the left, fingertips to the right, nice stretch on the left side, keep engaging the core, inhale at the center, exhale to the other side, hips to the right, Fingertips to the left, shoulder align with the, with the hips. Inhale, center, and exhale, fold. Good. Now, release the right foot, and come here in your, in your standing split. So lift the left leg off the floor. You breathe here. Now, softly bend the right foot, the right knee, bring the left toes at the back of the mat, find your lunge again. Right foot meet the left foot for a high plank. Shift the weight forward, go chaturanga of knee, chest on the floor. Inhale for up dog or cobra. And exhale, downward dog. Now inhale, left leg towards the ceiling. Exhale, left foot at the front of the mat for a low lunge here. Now. Step your right foot forward, but right behind the left. Your legs are crossed. Left foot, left uh, leg forward and right leg back. Now inhale, look halfway up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale, fold. Now press on your feet. Use the core. Inhale, rise up. Hands in, fingers interlace, but not the index. Inhale, reach high, exhale, hips 
to the right, fingertips to the left, nice stretch on the right side, inhale center slowly and exhale hips to the left, fingertips to the right. Inhale, center and release all the way down, fall forward. Now release the right foot, press on the left, come to your standing split, lifting the right leg up and high. Now bend the left knee, bring the right toes at the back of the mat. Left foot meet the right foot, shift the weight forward, bend the elbows and we go all the way down on the belly. All right, and now Sphinx pose. So bring the elbows right underneath the, um, the, short, the shoulders, yeah. Zip your legs, press the top of the feet on the floor, pubic bone on the floor. And here there is a small motion you can do. You can grip the floor towards you. So when I do that, you see maybe the motion here, my heart goes forward. So you don't push the floor, you press it towards you. Good. And you breathe here. Now you can bend the right knee. You can gently lean on the left uh, elbow, grab the, the right foot. If you have the flexibility in the shoulders, you bring the elbow up towards the ceiling and you gaze back. Otherwise, you can just stay here. Find your variation. Nice stretch in the quads. We hold here and we breathe. Now gently release, come back to your Sphinx, bend the left knee and with your left hand come and grab the foot and again you can stay here or you can flip your grip and really have the elbows, the elbows sorry, towards the ceiling and the heel towards the sacrum and you can gaze over the left shoulder. And you really should feel that on the quad, in the quad. Couple more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, gently release. Come back to your Sphinx. A big inhale and exhale, release. Now place your hands underneath the shoulders. We'll take one cobra here. Press on your hands on the top of the feet. Inhale, peel the chest away from you, soft, gaze, soft bend in the, in the elbows, and again, bring the floor towards you so you can lift the heart up. Good. Now, tuck the toes, come on all fours, and make your way back to a downward dog. All right. Now, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right foot between the hands left knee on the floor, inhale rise up and exhale twist, left arm forward, right arm back, inhale crescent, exhale half split, inhale center, tuck the toes, lift the knee, downward dog, inhale left leg, exhale left foot front of the mat, Right knee on the floor, inhale, crescent moon, exhale, twist, right arm forward, left arm back, inhale, exhale, hands on the floor, straighten the front leg, half split, inhale to the front, tuck the right toes, lift the knee, and downward dog. All right, and from downward dog, we come to a yogic squat. So gaze forward, right foot outside of the right hand, left foot outside of the le left hand, sink your hips down, hands in front of the heart, press the knee away from you with the elbows. Now drop the left hand on the floor, across from the, the left knee, inhale, open the right arm high and back. And breathe. Inhale here, and exhale, release, come back to the center. Right hand on the floor, inhale, left arm up and back. Keep pressing the right knee away with your arm. Inhale, and exhale, 
come back good now extend your arms above the head interlace the fingers release the index inhale exhale press on your feet rise up and exhale hands down good heel to your feet come to mountain pose with the big toes to touch the heels slightly open knee cap lifted quad engaged tailbone down pelvis forward shoulders away from the ears hands to your heart we'll take three quick sun salutations here inhale rise up tall mountain gentle back bend hips forward and exhale fold uttanasana inhale look halfway up good let's stay in halfway up here for just a second so now you can take your vinyasa with knees chest on the floor or you can do you can step in high plank exhale chaturanga low plank or you can hop in chaturanga whatever is accessible for you today so again inhale look halfway up create space exhale fold inhale rise up exhale all the way down and here we go inhale halfway up exhale chaturanga low plank or your variation inhale up dog and we all meet in downward dog gaze forward you can hop or you can step right foot left foot the front of the mat inhale flat back exhale fold press on your feet inhale all the way up and with one dive exhale all the way down inhale halfway lift take your variation to low plank inhale cobra or up dog and we all meet in down dog all right gaze forward you can hop step right foot left foot forward inhale with a flat back exhale fold forward inhale rise up pressing on the feet tall mountain and one more time exhale all the way down uttanasana inhale halfway exhale chaturanga low plank inhale up dog exhale downward dog breathe here now gaze forward can hop step right foot left foot inhale flat back exhale fold bend the knees squat down inhale find your chair pose arms are lifted hips down soft gaze soft shoulders inhale here and exhale fold forward inhale halfway exhale right foot left foot back chaturanga inhale up dog exhale down dog now lift the right leg high exhale right foot between the hands drop the left heel on the floor press on your feet inhale and find your warrior one here good let's take your alignment make sure the front heel is aligned with the back heel hips you can grab your hips in your hands and square them so bring the left hip forward the right hip down so they're parallel to the front of the mat same as your shoulders nice bend in the front knee feel a nice stretch in the ground stay bone down pelvis forward and now reach your arms high you can interlace the fingers release the index shoulders away from the ears and the arm can go past the, the ears imagine you want to squeeze a pen in the shoulder blades make sure you don't drop the right knee towards the inside but it's more like outward strong legs keep pressing on the back foot good now straighten the front leg inhale and exhale gentle back bend here fingertips towards the back of the mat chest is lifted now slowly Fall forward for pyramid pose. Release the hands framing your foot, knee to nose, forehead towards the shin. Now stretching the back of the right leg. Don't round the back, keep a back flat. All right, and breathe. 
press on your feet, feel yourself grounded. Now, inhale, look halfway up, join with the hands again together, release the index. Inhale, rise up, use your core. Gentle back bend, release the hands, bring them behind the body, interlace the hands, press the hands towards the floor, squeeze the shoulder blades. Now bend the front knee, keep your chest lifted and open. Keep bending the front knee, inhale, and exhale, fall forward. The crown of the head reaches the floor, sink on that right hip, hands lifted above the head and breathe for this humble warrior. Now pressing on your feet, rise up. Inhale, both arms up, find your warrior one again. Hands on the floor. Lift the left heel off the floor. Right foot, meet the left foot, shift the weight forward, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Now lift the left leg high, and now left foot between the hands. Drop the back heel on the floor. Check your diameter of your feet already. Is the right heel aligned with the left one? Is the back foot slightly turned in? Is the front foot parallel to the, perpendicular to the floor? If so, you're ready to press on the feet. Lift your arms up. But yeah, but first you want to square the hips so you can use your hands. Make sure you bring the right hip forward, the left hip back. Bend that front knee, shoulders above the hips, heart is lifted, and now hands high. Interlace the fingers, release the index, release the shoulders away from the ears. You can gaze up or gaze forward. Keep engaging your glutes, keep engaging the abdominal muscles, and breathe. And again, don't listen to the mind. The body achieves what the mind believes. So if your, body be your mind believes you can stay in this pose for a long breath, then you can do it. Visualize your alignment. Now straighten the front leg. Inhale. Exhale. Bend towards the back of the room. Bend the front knee. No, not bend the front knee. Inhale here. And exhale with straight arms, straight legs, fall forward for pyramid pose. Release the feet, the hands, frame the foot, knee towards the nose, nose towards the knee, forehead towards the shin. And again, make sure that you haven't brought your hips back. Bring your hips forward, square them to the front of the mat. And breathe. Feel a nice stretch in the back of the left leg. And now pressing on your, on your feet. Bring the hands forward until there's the fingers again. Inhale, rise up. Find the back bend here. Bring the hands in the back, interlace the fingers. Press the, the hands down, squeeze the shoulder blades, bend the front knee. Keep lifting the heart. Inhale here and exhale, find your humble warrior. Left shoulder inside of the left knee, sink on that left hip, hands lifted above the head. Keep engaging your abdominal muscles. Good. And breathe. Now pressing on the front foot, inhale, rise up for warrior one. Hands on the floor, lift the right heel, left foot knee, the right foot for high plank, shift the weight forward, bend the elbows, exhale down, um, low plank, inhale, up dog, and exhale back to downward dog. Take slow deep breath here. And now we do the same, but with one movement, one breath. So inhale, lift, lift, lift your right leg high, Exhale, right foot between the hands. Drop the left heel on the floor. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, straighten the front leg. And exhale with straight arms all the way down for pyramid pose. Frame your foot here. Inhale, look halfway up. 
exhale, fold, join the hands again, press on your feet, inhale, up, back bend, exhale, bring the hands in behind the body, interlace the fingers, inhale, open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades, exhale, bend the front knee, keep looking up, keep sinking that right hip, inhale, exhale, fold, humble warrior. Inhale, press on your feet, rise up, hands to the sky. Exhale, hands on the floor, lift the left heel, high plank. Inhale, exhale, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift leg, left leg high. Exhale, left foot between the hands front of the mat, right foot on the right heel on the floor. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Inhale, and exhale, find the back bend. Inhale, exhale, fold forward, hands, arms straight, framing the foot, pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway, and exhale, forward. Join the hands, press on your feet, inhale, rise up. Gentle back bend. Exhale, hands behind the body, join the palms. Inhale, press the palms down, open the chest. Exhale, bend the front knee. Keep lifting the chest. Inhale, exhale, fold, humble warrior. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, hands on the floor, left foot meet the right foot. Shift the weight forward, exhale, low plank. Inhale, up the arm, and exhale. Down dog. Bring your knees on the floor and come to a quick charge pose. Forehead on the floor, no tension in the arms. And here just feel whatever there is to feel. Checking with your mind. Are there still thoughts that are there that you need to release or are they gone? What about these tensions you had in the body? Are they still there? Or are they more subtle? Now when I press on your hands, come back to a tabletop position. Tap the toes, lift the hips down the dog. Now inhale, right leg high. On the exhale, right foot forward. Now bring your right hand inside of the right foot. Drop the left heel on the floor. And here, you can use a block. You can actually place the right hand on the block if, if it's easier, so you have more, the, the floor is higher. Here, you really want to press the, the leg away with your arm. So my arm is pressing against my leg so the knee doesn't collapse inside, all right? Hands is flat, back foot is turned in. Now lift your left arm high for extended side angle. You see my shoulders are stacked. Activate my fingers. Don't collapse the chest. Press on the hands and use the core. And here if you want, you can bring, the, extend the left arm above the here with the pinky facing down. So you roll your hand to the right. Now if your arm is extended, stack the shoulders, and from here we go to warrior two. So press on your feet, only the torso moves, so you can find warrior two. Whew. Building strength, we're not moving a lot, but this is quite sweaty. All right, warrior two, let's check your alignment. The front heel must be aligned with the inner arch of the back foot, all right? That's different than warrior two, than warrior one. Nice 90 degree angle in the front knee. My thigh is parallel to the floor and again I press on this outer edge of the foot. Pelvis forward, not the, the butt, it doesn't stick out. Arms extended to the side. Gaze forward towards the middle finger. Soft shoulders. You're soft but you're strong. And breathe. Engage the core, engage the glutes. 
Now reverse the front palm, inhale forward and exhale, reverse your warrior. And here we tend to lose the, the, the bend in the front knee, so see if you can sink a little deeper in the right, on the right knee. Squeeze the right glute, elongate the arm towards the ceiling, keep the shoulders away from the ears. And you gaze towards the right hand. Now stretch on the right side, keep squeezing the belly. Now only the torso moves. Go back to warrior two. Good. Now hands on the floor. Lift the left heel off the floor. Right foot meet the left foot. High plank, shift the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Tuck the toes, exhale, down dog. Whew. And here you can walk your dog. Move your heels, move your knees. That feels good. All right. Let's do that on the left side. Inhale, left leg high. Left foot between the hands. Right foot is flat. Take your block if needed. Place it inside of the left foot. Left hand on the block or on the floor. Make sure you have a nice 90 degree angle here. Press the left leg with your arm. Press the knee with your shoulders. And lift the right arm up. You can here take the belly, if you have flesh in the belly, and really bring it inside. Good. Don't collapse the chest, use the core, and use your, your arm to press that leg away. Shoulders are stacked. Don't shrug the shoulders. Now you can bring the right arm above the, above the ear with the pinky, so you roll your ankle, not your ankle, your wrist, to the left. Yeah, so the pinky is facing down. And breathe. Observe where you can feel this in the body. Observe quality of the thoughts here. All right, if the arm is extended, bring it above, above the head, so shoulders are stuck. And now pressing on the feet, only the torso lifts. Fun are you too. Nothing else has moved but my torso. Check your alignment. Is the front heel aligned with the arch of the back foot? Sink here, make sure you can see your big toes. Don't shrug the shoulders. Pelvis down, now pelvis forward, tailbone down, squeeze those glutes. Again, you are soft but strong. Keep breathing. Be present with your breath, be present with every sensations. Now revolve the front palm, inhale, Reach forward and exhale. Reverse your warrior. See if you can sink in that left knee a little, a little more. Slide the right hand alongside the right leg, but don't lean on it. It's really light. Extend that left arm up and back. Gaze towards your left hand. Inhale. Exhale only the torso move, warrior two. Hands on the floor, lift the right heel, left Foot meet the right, high plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, and exhale, down dog. And again, walk your dog. Whew. Release. And now we float. It's easier when we float. All right, inhale, right leg high, exhale, right foot between the hands, drop the right heel, settle here. Right hand inside of the right foot. Inhale, left arm high. Good. Inhale. Exhale, only the torso move for warrior two. Revolve the front palm. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Hands on the floor. Inhale. Exhale, high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left foot between the hands. Right foot is flat. Left hand inside of the right foot. Inhale, reach right arm high. Exhale, warrior two. Revolve the front palm. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Hands on the floor. Left foot meet the right foot high plank. Inhale and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Look forward. 
You can hop or you can step the right foot and the left foot. Inhale, halfway, and exhale, fold. Now bend the knees, squat down. Inhale, find your channels. Make sure that you sit low, that you can wiggle your toes, shoulders away from the ears, gentle gaze up. And we do a little chair dance. Now bring the arms back for airplane chair. Squeeze the shoulder blades, activate the triceps. Airplane, or uh, chair, sorry. Breathe. Now come on your, on your toes, swipe your arms back, balance chair. And breathe. Plant your knees, inhale. Tall mountain, exhale, hands to the heart. Release and shake. Woof. I can feel that. Okay, let's do that little chair dance again. Bring the feet to touch, big toes to touch. Arms alongside the body, bend the knees, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, chair. Exhale, airplane, chair. Inhale, find your tall mountain. And exhale, arms down. And again, inhale, chair. Exhale, airplane, chair. Inhale, chair. Exhale, balance, chair on the toes. Inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, hands to the heart. And release and shake. All right, well done, very good. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga, low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Now, make one step further with both feet so the, the heel come where the toes were and your feet are still hip distance apart. Now the left hand comes and grab the outside of the right ankle, press the left knee towards the left and gaze underneath the right armpit and breathe and observe where you can feel this stretch. Now release the left hand, the right hand grabs the outside of the left ankle, pull the right, the right elbow towards the side and gaze under the left arm. Again observe where you can feel this stretch. Now release. One step down, knees on the floor, and come sit on your heels. All right, but from here we'll take a camel pose. So, if you don't know camel pose, I suggest that you just watch and then you do it. And if you know camel pose, you can come. Uh, you can come with me. But there is no issue in uh, not knowing and watching first. That's how it's learned. Good. So rise on your knees. Your knees are hips distance apart, shoulders above the hips, hips above the knees. Here you can start by tucking the, the what do you call them, the toes, all right? Bring the hands behind the back, and you really want to have the heel of the hand in the lower back. Toes are toes, fingers are pointing down. Now, open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades, bring the elbows together. And gently start to press your hips forward and bring your torso parallel to the floor. You can stay here, or you can release the left hand towards the right heel, and the right hand towards the right heel. Keep pressing the hips forward and squeezing the shoulder blades. And breathe. Now if you want, you can stay here, or you can lift your left arm up and back. Nice stretch. Bring it forward. Back to the left heel. Now release the right hand. Inhale, bring your left arm up and back. And bring it back toward the hand towards the heel. Good. Now bring your hands on the lower back and rise up. And come and sit on your heels. Bring your hands on your thighs. 
Just rest here for a moment, observing and experiencing. And we'll do this one more time. So come on your knees, align your posture, hands in the lower back, press your hips forward, open the chest to the ceiling. Good. Now if you want, actually I already did, you can flatten the tops of the feet. You can stay here, or you can reach left hand, left heel, right hand, right heel. Keep pressing your hips forward. And lifting the chest towards the ceiling. And breathe. Now bring the right hand back on the lower back, the left hand, and sit on the heels. And again, hands on the, on the thighs, rest here for a moment. Now open your eyes. Shift your hips to the right or to the left and extend your, uh, your legs in front of you. Now that we have done this back bend, we have to fall forward. So hands to the side, navel in and up, inhale, arms up. And gently, oh, I can feel that in my lower back, so it's a good counter pose. Fall on your legs. You want to close the gap between the chest and the thigh. If you are here, it's fine. If you are here, it's also fine. As long as you're not here, that's no good. You really want to keep creating space. And we'll hold here for a few breaths. You can close the eyes, and what I can tell you here is that when you inhale, you grow the spine tall, not really moving. And when you exhale, you have more space for your forward bend. Inhale. Elongate the spine, very subtle lift of the chest. And so when you exhale, you have more space and you can close the gap between the thigh and the chest even further. And you can keep doing this with the breath, inhaling, elongating, and exhaling, folding a little deeper. Now inhale, look halfway up. And exhale, release. Good. Now bring your hands right behind uh, behind you. Bend the knees. And actually flip your, no, what is it? Yeah, no, bring, uh, keep your fingertips towards the bum. But when, what I want you to do is to open your, your arms a little wider than your hips because we have to bring our hips in there. So if they are like the same size, they won't go. So the hands are open more than the hips. Now feet flat on the floor. Now press on your feet on your hand. Inhale and come to this reverse tabletop. You can gaze back. Squeeze the belly and squeeze the glutes. Keep pressing on the hands, shoulders away from the ears. From here we bring the, the bum between the hands. So inhale, exhale, start to bend the knee. Shift the bum between the hands and you come on your heel. And here we lift it. We'll do this quickly, uh, a bit more quickly. Now again, bring the feet flat on the floor. Inhale, lift the hips. Squeeze. And exhale, hips down, the hips between the arms. Strong legs, strong core. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Stay here. Stay, smile, three, two, one, and release. Good, Oof. and shake. You can make rotation with the elbows. All right. Now come more forward to the front of the mat. Extend your arms, and slowly, with elegance and grace, come on your back. Good. Now extend the left leg long, and reach, bring the right knee towards the chest. Give it a good squeeze. Extend the right arm 90 degrees from the body and with the left hand, drag the right knee to the left. A nice stretch. I feel that in my glutes, but also my back is cracking a little bit. And you can keep your left hand on the right knee to hold it to the floor. Oh, another crack. And breathe. 
Now using the core, bring the knee back. Last one, one last squeeze and change. Left knee to the chest, squeeze it tight. Release the left arm on the floor. Right hand, draw the left knees to the side. And you gaze towards the left. I feel a nice stretch in the hip. My spine is happy as well. Now squeeze the belly, bring the knee back to the center. Both knees to the center, give them a big squeeze. You can roll on your back. All right. And here, you can extend the legs in front of you and come to Shavasana. You can open your feet as wide as your legs as wide as you want, the arms as wide as you want. Make sure you're comfortable here. Now take a long breath in and release. Take another long breath in and release. Now, I want you to squeeze your hands, shrug the shoulders in the ear, squeeze your body as much as you can. You want to squeeze, you want to squeeze the eyes, squeeze the forehead, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hold the breath, really like as much tension as you can in the entire body, like tense it, really tense it. And now release. And now, no more control over anything. Feel your body completely relax on the floor. And now is the moment your body can really integrate your yoga practice. Shavasana is as, as important as the rest of the practice because it's really now that you can take in all the benefits. So you can stay here in silence. Sinking into relaxation with your breath that is slowing down. Your heartbeat that is also slowing down. There is nothing to do and nowhere to be. It's just you. You, your breath, and your body. In this present moment. Now you can gently bring your attention back to the room. Bring the awareness back to the body. You got your fingers and your toes. Move your head from one side to the other. Swipe your arms behind the head and stretch like a cat. Now draw your knees to your chest and gently fall on the left side, the side of the heart, coming into a fetal position. And here you can come back to the intention you made at the beginning of the practice. Setting your right hand on the floor, you can gently press yourself back up to a seated position. 
with your legs crossed and your eyes closed, letting the flow of the breath going back to a vertical position. Bring your hands in front of your heart. You can thank yourself for allowing you to do yoga today. I mean, thank yourself for making the time to do yoga today. Thank your beautiful body for the strength, for allowing you to do yoga. Bring your hands in a, pro in a prayer position in front of your heart. And here you can take a moment to thank yourself for making the time to be on your mat today, taking care of your body and your mind. And you can also thank your body for allowing you to do yoga. And you can thank it for being beautiful, strong and healthy. To close the practice, we'll chant the peace mantra Aum. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. We can exhale all the air. Now deep inhale to chant. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Inhale and exhale. May there be peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, peace in your heart. Namaste. Thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed your practice. Subscribe to my channel, share, share with your loved ones and spread the words that yoga is amazing. And I will see you tomorrow.